Hey guys, it's Irfan. I want to show you I've got a Dell Inspiron 15-3521 laptop. The problem is most of the keys on the keyboard don't work. So what I had to do was use an external USB keyboard and plug it into one of the USB ports. Now I was looking at the manual trying to figure out how to remove the keyboard to see if there was anything wrong underneath. I got the manual downloaded and it did give me an idea of how to do it, but not really in depth. There were a few missing pieces. First of all, uh, you got to remove your battery pack. That's common sense. What I did I use these two flat screwdrivers, jeweler's screwdrivers, and I pried out this uh, bezel or whatever it's called from the keyboard. If you look closely underneath here, get a magnifying glass if I could show you better, it's got little pins very small pins that fit in to these holes on the uh, on the keyboard right they snap in so I had to snap them out to get this out when it's flat what I did is I used one of the uh, flat screwdrivers I put it in under here and pried it up and then I just slid it down through each one of these lines here to pop up those pins now once I got this out I don't know if it was really necessary to take that out but I found it easier to see with the keyboard, I already got the keyboard out. They told you that it's got nine tabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five, five tabs on the top, two on the left, two on the right. What they didn't tell you is these tabs are spring-loaded. See if I get a good view for you. Once you push, they're telling you to push these tabs in so you could pry out the keyboard. But once you push them in and you release, they come back out because they're spring-loaded. Trying to get a good shot for you here. They tell you use a plastic scrub. I don't have a plastic scrub. The battery is removed anyway. So if you got a plastic scrub, that's better. So what I did is I used the two of them, two screwdrivers, with one when I pushed it in to hold the tab. I used the other one to pry out the keyboard. And you snap them out one at a time, and then the two edges. That's how I was able to get the keyboard off. Now, once it's off, you can see here the ribbon cable connects to the motherboard. The way to get this out, if you wanted, is this piece here, this dark colored piece. There was a piece of tape over here. I uh, removed that. This piece, uh, get a good shot for you, get my hand out of the way. This piece folds up. See that? Once you raise that up, see it's, it's on a hinge. And this ribbon cable comes out. It's marked up 
when you got to put the keyboard back in. I checked online. These keyboards are pretty expensive. It's like $25 to $50. So it's just easier for me to... And there's nothing I could fix here. I can't see anything wrong with it. And I can't get inside of this. So it's just easier for me to buy a, a, a USB keyboard from Micro Center for less than 5 bucks. Plug it into the USB port. It's got like extra USB ports here to use so I'm not jamming up anything. If you want to spend the money, you got to replace a keyboard and you want to spend the money, 25 to 50 bucks, you could do that. Now to put this back in, you see that little tab there, two tabs on the ends. Those tabs fit in I'm trying to do a one one-handed operation here I might have to all right all right it's down there it's only one way it could fit in then you just bring this back down all right so that's it and then to replace the keyboard all you do is you slide this these tabs in one two three four five you do it from the palm rest side first Give me a minute there. And then you snap these in. I'm not going to do that right now because i got a few more things to check on. Snap these in and then you just put your uh, plastic cover back in. You snap all of these in. What I plan to do is to use this roller to roll it along and snap them in. All right, so that's it guys. Dell Inspiron or Inspiron 15-3521 laptop with a bad keyboard, faulty keyboard. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, goodbye.